Okay, time for Bandit level 21 to level 22. So the level goal is that a program is running automatically at regular intervals from cron, the time-based job scheduler. Look in etsy slash cron-d um, for the configuration and see what command is being executed. Commands you may need to solve this level are cron, crontab, crontab 5. Um, okay, let's let's quickly talk about cron. So cron allows us to schedule jobs. It's essentially a daemon, which um, a daemon is like a program that runs in the background. It's not like under, it's not like under your control, like directly. It's like a background process. Um, essentially what we do is we, we schedule, we schedule jobs. We specify when we want them to happen and then cron does them automatically for us at that time and you know often there can be um, sort of like interesting things happening automatically at certain times and that might you know there's, there's information there that maybe we can use to to find something in a CTF or um, cron is used quite regularly um, I'm not going to go into the details of how to use cron so I'll let you let you um, look that up in your own time but for now I'll just do a, like a, a practical way of us solving this um, exercise so it wants us to look in etsy slash cron dot d um, for the configuration so we don't really need to know much about cron to look at this okay so we're gonna see cd in because this is a slash here this is a folder this is a directory right so we're gonna change directory into that Um, and let's ls and see what we've got. So we've got a load of different cron jobs. So cron job is just the name for like a, a scheduled program um, in cron. Um, these are all text files and you know just you could look at all of these maybe we could cat all of them to have a little look but because of the nature of this game where we're looking for the next level up you know we're 21 so it's gonna be bandit 22 that we are probably most interested in um, so let's look at that cron job so bandit 22 okay so now in here this is saying the, the um, where the action is coming from so it's under bandit 22's um, username it happens at reboot uh, and these stars are, are used to schedule like how regularly this um, this cron job happens uh, but for now we don't even need to worry about that right what we can see is that the actual job itself is this shell script um, the the time scheduled program that's run is this shell script here so the next sort of thing to do would to be look to see what that shell script is. A shell script is just literally a programming script um, written in shell code uh, that um, you know written in bash uh, and that it gets executed as a script essentially. So let's cat this. I might as well just copy it copy and paste and here is that shell script so this bit here just, just um, specifies that that we want this to be um, run with the bash shell which um, is the shell that we're currently using the born again shell um, which again I won't I won't go into but please look that up if you haven't already um, looked that up that's the sort of like shell language that we've been using this whole time through bandit and here's the actual the commands that it runs right so it uses the change mod change mode command with these permissions and on this file so it's saying let's change the permissions of this file to 6 which is read and write permissions for the owner and 44 which is read permissions for the group and read permissions for anyone now that's interesting because that means that we can read it, right? 
and what's the next line? Cat Etsy Bandit Pass Bandit 22. So that is the password. That that file is the password for Bandit 22, and it's redirecting it. It's writing it to that file in the temporary folder. So there's a file in the temporary folder, this one, that we can read because of this um, change of missions, and it contains the password for um, Bandit 22. So simple, right? We just have to read this, read this, um, read this file. So we can just hit enter, and there we go. That is the password for level 22. So in this one, it took, you, you know, we sort of like used a bit of intuition here to say that it's going to be the the user one level above us that we're going to be interested in. Maybe we could have taken a bit longer and sort of looked at the, all these jobs and see where they went and investigated them, but but a lot of the time in these CTF-like things you're going to have to use this sort of like intuition to, to suss out um, ways to save time and that was just way, one way of doing it. Um, but okay, so that's the password for the next one and I shall uh, see you there.